So, what are we doing? Well, a few days ago, we uh, were wandering up the main street near where our homestay is, and we stumbled upon a couple who have a little stand, and we decided to have lunch there. And they were so sweet and lovely, it started raining, and they invited us into what was essentially their living room, the main room of the, their <laughs> house, so that we didn't get wet. And the food was really good, so we thought we'd go back there and share them with you because they were really sweet. Yeah, we. Uh, I went yesterday and said, "Is it okay if we come and film?" And she says, "Oh yes, that'd be great." So, hopefully, she hasn't forgotten, and uh, it's not going to be too horrible of a surprise. But they're lovely, lovely people, and her food is really good. And so. it's a pretty classic sort of—you get rice, and then you pick the things that you like, and she puts them on your plate. There you go. <laughs> So we were we were thwarted in our attempt to go do a pre-arranged videoing, but we have another cool place mm -hmm. that we found the other night, and uh, this is sort of what what do you call this? What would you call this? Well, sort it's of? like the nasi champur sort of. It's yeah. again, is you get rice and then you chick, pick the things that you want, right? Or sometimes have it picked for you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna give it a shot. So let's see how it goes. Hello. Yeah. Is it okay? He, he wants to film. Is that all right? Okay. Camera. Video. Okay. YouTube. Okay. Okay. okay, great. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. Lots. Lots of. Hello. We're just okay for a camera? Okay. Okay. Nice. Oh, yes. Ooh, ah. Uh. So we have a variety of they do, lots oh, to choose Oh, fantastic from. looking stuff. So we got noodles, some sort of a little deep fried cake here. Yeah. Some little ikan fishies. Yeah. Some Greens. Tempeh, tempeh tofu. tofu. That looks More like tempeh. a chicken and beans. Kind of thing. Is that tempeh or chicken? Tempeh, I think. Tempeh? Chicken. I am? No. Tempeh. Uh, skin. skin. Oh, yeah. All right. right. Okay. So that's a so, all right. Skin. So, darling, uh, grab yourself a okay. plate and so, figure out what you're um, doing. What do I want? With rice? Yes, with rice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Too much okay. rice. Yeah. Um, so what are you going to have? Some greens. Laurel loves her greens. Okay. Wow. I like the tempeh. Should I try one of those fried things? Fried rice? I'm going to have one. Are you? Well, then yeah. Maybe I'll just let you have one. Yeah, no. Okay, no, no. No. Um, and should I? Mushroom? Mushroom, yes. Mushrooms. Mushrooms and tofu? Yeah, yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay. And is that coconut milk? Uh, shop, shop, uh, uh, soup? Yes. Uh, coconut soup? Uh, coconut soup. Mm. Mm. I'm going to have some of that yeah, too. Yeah, I, I don't think I want that. Uh, oh. yeah. Sambal? Sambal? Mm. <laughs> I think that's good egg there. Yeah, good egg. Good. No, that's uh, that, no, it's something else. No, it's the fish. Fish, fish rice. Fish. No, this is no. good. This is good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and for me, I'm gonna have some rice. Mm hmm Very nice. Right, yes, very good. And one of these guys. Egg? Yes. Egg. Ah, it's an omelette. And um, let's see, a little bit, just a small one. Yeah. yeah. That's that's good. I love the little fish. <laughs> <laughs> what else? And um, oh some mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to have some of that too, yes. That ever do? Yeah, and I like a little bowl of that. Yeah, soup. some some soup would be would be good too. It goes over. I think it's no. the sauce. Sauce. Oh there yeah. You go. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Tea. All right. Sounds and good. And iced tea? two iced tea. Iced tea. Yes. Iced tea with sugar. Uh, less sugar. Okay. Less sugar. Fantastic. Uh, Thank you very much. Yes. Can you grab mine? Yes. Thank you. All right. What do you think? <laughs> we're, we're we're going in. Hello. Oh, nice and dark and cool in here. Sit, sit by the fan. Uh, I'm gonna sit, sit over here. This looks really good. Yep, that's a pretty impressive looking plate of food there. 
<laughs> and yours is also an impressive looking plate of food. All right. So, okay, you know, truth be told, we did eat at this place once before. We sort of stumbled on it by accident. And we were the only ones here, and we're almost the only ones here now. But there's family. And, and here comes our iced tea. And it's pretty, oh, lovely. Here comes the iced tea. I could use a gallon of that. That's great. Cool. Thank you. And uh, it's just one of those places. I don't even know if it has an official name. Uh, but there, we will can, be a, there will be a pin. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a There's pin down a there. Pin of some sort. Definitely. Oh, hang on. Mm -hmm. uh, I am renewed. Um, but the food is, is like handmade, ridiculously tasty, and a huge variety of stuff. And inexpensive. Inexpensive, which is you know us for profoundly cheap. So, so tofu and frugal, mushrooms. Frugal. Frugal. Sorry. Tofu and mushrooms. Tofu and mushrooms. <laughs> But it, it tastes probably a lot tofu and mushrooms. It does. Mm -hmm. well, that's lots of flavor. Mm. And this sambal is wicked. I don't know if you got any. Then. I didn't get sambal. Well, you can take a bit of mine. Oh, you know because, what? Oh, okay. So, okay. we were just saying, um, quite often we say that we want something hot. <laughs> we're in Asia. And even though we insist, this happened to us yesterday, we insist that we like local hot. Invariably, what we get is very, very mild because they just don't think that we eat spicy food. And they are so wrong. So, so wrong. this sambal is real local stuff. See. This is not this is not foreigner sambal. So it's got some food. Oh yeah, isn't that nice? Really so nice. This is wow. the real deal. So you're welcome to take some because mm. that's quite a bit because it's actually got some food. I mean, that's no, got and much. some fermentation stuff going yeah, on in there too, and some roast vegetable. Oh, it's fantastic. Let's try the greens. Mm -hmm. The greens are quite earthy. They taste a bit like, I think it's cassava leaves. Right. And they taste a bit like uh, Swiss chard. These guys, you often see these, uh, this is the little teeny anchovies, which are one of our personal favorites. And you don't see them everywhere, but uh, whenever I see them, I gotta have them because they're just so funky and umami ish. This is like the basis for fish sauce, if you left that to ferment. And if you've ever had um, uh, nasi lemak, mm. yes? Mm -hmm. oh, 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 oh. Which is one of our favorite breakfast foods. It often comes with the ikan villas, the mm -hmm. little, little fried anchovy dip. Mm. This is um, um, tempeh? tempeh goreng, which is fried tempeh. And I've really grown to like it. They chop it into really small pieces. And is there sugar in there too? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like, or ketchup, no, no. So, anyway, it's, I've really grown to. Mm. So, like, it is sweet. And the tempeh itself, which is a, to uh, a soybean product, fermented soybean product, is um, got a really interesting texture that I've really grown to love. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I liked it initially, but now I really like it. And this one is interesting too, because it's a combination, it's a dish that's got. Uh, a boiled skin, which I imagine is beef skin. I don't think it's pork skin. So no, kind it will of be tend beef. to frown upon that. It will be right beef. Here. And some green beans and some tempeh all put together. Pretty. A cornucopia of textures. Hmm. Wow, that sambal kicks. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling some more. Kicks, bum. <laughs> it's okay. I think you can say ass. Yeah, but it does. <laughs> Bashes buttocks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Mm. Really nice. Well, this is great. We're going to, uh, I think that pretty much rounds it down what we got here. But uh, how's your omelet? The omelet is interesting. It's uh, it's almost like it was deep fried in oil, which is kind of an interesting, got a bit of a crispy kind of texture. I think thing. it was. It looks yeah. to me like they made sort of a. <clears throat> they uh, whisked up. Sorry, Sam's getting it. Yeah. But it's good. I uh, whisked up the eggs and then threw it into enough oil that it was deep fried. Yeah, it's very tasty. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, anything deep fried can it be a bad thing. And your soup, your soup. has I was eggplant. Wondering, I was hoping to get a bowl of that. I, I know. It looks like tofu and eggplant and yeah. some green beans. Mm -hmm. But she poured the sauce all over everything. Mm. Is it good? I mean, is it coconut -y or what? Anytime anything with coconut milk comes around, I'm I'm never going to be one to complain. So. You like it. It's good. All right, mm, you probably sure. don't need to see us chewing and chewing and chewing. Uh, it gets rather we'll boring back. after a while, but we'll come back and be sated. <laughs> An interesting thing happened to us uh, when, uh, before we came, we researched what some of the dishes were that were indigenous to this area. 
and good egg was one of them. And not good egg. Not good egg. Good egg. He was a good egg. G U D E G. And uh, right around the corner, uh, the street from where we're actually staying, there is a row of I'm not kidding about eight good egg restaurants side by side. In, in, this in is line. like good egg row. Yeah, and uh, they all in the window. They have you know their marinated egg and their chicken and their good all egg. the other components of the of the. Thing and they all look precisely identical, and so we went in one the other day. You know, think okay, we'll scoop this place out and maybe film a video on it. And it was so lackluster that we decided, meh, well, <laughs> we weren't going to do it. Okay, we need we need to do a little more here. Um, <laughs> yeah, good egg. I was excited by it because was, was, it is um, it's a jackfruit dish, and jackfruit doesn't get eaten a lot in many places, but in North America and I think Western Europe, it's being seen as a great meat substitute. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and it's put into curries and all sorts of things because it doesn't, like tofu, it doesn't have a lot of flavor of its own, but unlike tofu, it has a texture that leans more meaty and, and so people quite like to use it as like a pulled pork. It's often used for pulled pork substitutes for vegans. So I was excited to try this. And because Jack grows here, and this dish is uh, a local specialty. So they stew it in, um, you know, spices and things, and I think coconut milk with a lot, I think a lot of palm sugar. Yeah. So it's, despite the fact it's supposed to be a savory, it's very sweet. I think that was the, the hardest thing for me, the reason I didn't love it. And I, I, you know, someone put it down in front of me and said, here, have some good. Would I eat it? You bet I'd eat it. But um, I'm not going to seek it out. And maybe it's because we went into the wrong restaurant on that row. But, but they I, all looked identical. That was a, that was the point. So yeah, as Rob was saying, you get the like the soy sauce yeah. marinated egg or ketchup mayonnaise or whatever it is for that, the brown egg. Um, some kind of, uh, yeah, the, the good egg itself and then accoutrement that go with it. And for me, it was just that it ha had more sweet than it had any other flavor. Right? And it was just like, you know, not very exciting. As opposed to the other dish that's famous, uh, certainly in Indonesia, maybe not uh, Jojo specifically, is the Brenda. And I'm not even a DG fan. I do think, but I, it's never going to be my first choice. Um, but rendang is so complex. The spicing is so interesting and, and deep and layer and layer. That, that dish, I understand, even if I'm not a huge beef eater, why people want to eat rendang. Well, I think it's safe to say, to summarize, that good egg, we just don't understand. <laughs> and maybe we went to the wrong place. Yeah. Maybe it's awesome. Who knows? So if you love good egg, tell us why. Do, do some research and tell us which tell is the best place to go to. <laughs> there you go. Well, as, you, as you can see, at least one young lady is qualified for dessert. Good, Although, good as, job. As good one job. of our commenters said, we don't usually do dessert. Yeah, that was... Partly, a lot of these places don't have dessert, although I did see it looked like she had pukas at the front there. So we've tried this pukas, which is... Uh, Unfortunately spelled. P-U-K-I-S. <laughs> um, but it, it tastes like a pancake. Yeah. And you can have chocolate or... Uh, uh, nuts or something in there. The but the reason, the reason why we don't usually do dessert is because by the time we're finished, we're so damn stuffed that mm -hmm. it's just not even possible to think about dessert. But I think it's time to pay our bill and finish off our iced tea and wander back. Awesome. It was, that was good. Actually, it was. It was a really, was really, really good. good lunch. And we'll put a pin down there so yeah. you intrepid travelers can find it and enjoy it as much as we did. So here's the sign blowing in the breeze. And, uh, boy, they do some really, really tasty food here, as you can see. <laughs> but the truly, hang on a second. Oh. Oh, here's a sign up front. Phone numbers and everything down there. But the uh, truly amazing thing about that is so very very good so homemade so tasty and uh it was ended up the bill with three iced teas and two mountainous 
plates of homemade food was stuff. 44,000 rupiah. Three dollars and 78 cents Canadian. That's yeah. what that total was. So I left, a, I left about a 45 cent tip, which was very well appreciated. She was, she was chuffed. She was really <laughs> chuffed. To get a tipping is not great. really a thing here. So that was, that was a big deal. Um, I feel like maybe this uh, video doesn't feel as enthusiastic as some of our other ones have. And I want to say that it has nothing to do with the food. The food here yeah. is very, very good. Exceptional. Um, there are a couple things going on. One, we thought that we were filming somewhere else today. We had a young couple, or had a couple uh, lined up who, where we had eaten before, and I guess miscommunication. We thought we were coming today, and uh, they weren't there. They took the day off. So uh, it is what it is. That happens sometimes. But the other thing is, and? today is our last day. In and, Indonesia. Yeah. And on this trip, we are leaving tomorrow morning, and we've got about two days of uh, transit in front of us. We fly to Singapore, from Singapore to Paris, and Paris to Vancouver. So it's going to be a long haul, and we have mixed feelings right now. Yeah. We really, really want to go home, and we miss home, and we miss our kids, and all that kind of stuff. But Oh, my God, the kids. <laughs> No, so they had crunchies. Yeah, you put uh, down a bowl of water and some crunchies, and they're going to be fine. Okay, they're 20 and 23. It's, <laughs> it's not a problem. They live on their own. Um, but it's, you know, mixed feelings, because that's what happens at the end of a trip, right? You want to go home, but also you know you're leaving us behind. And I'm tired of the, the incessant sweating and heat, but I know we're going to go home, yeah. and in 24 hours they're going to be freezing all the time. So, so we're a little divided at this point, but... Uh, Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and uh, and we're desperate to be liked. This also, this is not the end of our series. No, we're, uh, we're going to continue on. We are going to continue filming uh, in Vancouver, and uh, so if you're traveling Vancouver and you're interested to know about good restaurants, that's a place we know really well, so we can hook you up. Um, and then other travels as well. Uh, wherever we end up, we'll take you along with us. Okay, so.